Hi. Hi, little baby. What are you doing? What's this? Ooh, what is that? All right, we're down here with puppy Ace for our week one video recap. We're gonna start with just a little bit of play. What is that? Give me that, good boy. Got the flirt pole. This is a favorite. What do you got? Wow, you're a strong boy. That's a strong boy. He likes to tug. Yeah. Good boy, Ace. Where are you going with that? Where are you going with it? Good boy. Very good boy. Very good job. Oh, I got it. Flirt pole is one of my favorite toys for puppies. Uh, I could put a link in the comments for the type of flirt pole that I like. This one for little babies. If you're interested in getting one. What is that kitty ace? Oh, there we go. Good boy. Good job. Oh, get it. Get it. <laughs> Look at you. All right, so in a second here, we're going to start to go through our training exercises. What is it? Good boy. Yeah. You got it. Nice job, buddy. Good boy. So the first thing that we're going to do for our training exercises is we're going to charge the clicker. We're going to teach the puppies that the sound of the clicker means they get food. Oh, good boy, Ace. Good boy. Can I have that? Yes, good job. All right, got a couple options for some snacks. We've got our clicker. Oh, someone's sad. I took that flirt pull away. All right, so we're going to start to charge the clicker here. I'm just going to click that clicker and give Ace a piece of food. I'm going to do this maybe a few times in a row. Good boy. Yeah, there it is. Good job. Yummy. Okay, so in your handouts and all your material, you'll find one that says, what's the clicker for? Make sure that you uh, review that. Good boy. Okay, now that we've paired the sound of the click with some food, now we're gonna get them to follow a food lure in our hand. Wow, good boy. I'm just having them connected to my hand before I click that clicker and let them have a piece. I'll finish and we'll do that again. <laughs> good boy, Ace. Very nice. And we can also uh, pair that with his name. So we start a little name recognition. Ace, good job. I'm always clicking before I release the treat. <clears throat> Ready? Ace. Perfect boy. So good. So that's us following the food lure. Very good boy. And this is why we have to teach puppies how to follow the food in our hand. Get a little fancy with Ace. Wow! Good boy. So from there, now that I know that he's motivated for the food and following in my hand, let's do a little hand target. So it's, I'm gonna disconnect from him this time, so it's slightly different. Show him the food. Ace, touch. Good touch. Good boy. Do that a couple times. Ready? Ace, touch. Nice. Such a smart boy. Yes, you are. Finish that one. Okay, so this is him following the food lure, nice and connected. This is the hand target. Touch. 
good. No, Marty Pants. Good boy, Ace. Very good boy. All right, from there, we are going to practice our first position change. A couple more snacks. Everything's lured because these are very tiny babies. What you doing? I'm going to show them some food, get them hooked on it. A sit. Good job. Good sit. Get it. That a couple more times. A sit. Perfect boy. Get it. So I'm asking him to sit. I'm clicking for the sit, giving him the cookie. Then I'm releasing him out of the sit when I say get it and toss the cookie away. So watch that one one more time. Ace. Good boy, Ace. Sit. Good sit. Very good boy. That's a nice sit. That crunchy treat. Get it. Good job. Good job, buddy. So smart. There's your toy. Can I play again for a second? We just did a few behaviors. We charged our clicker. We had Ace follow the food lure for a few reps, pairing it with his name. Then we practiced some hand targets and some sits. So we're just gonna take another couple seconds here to play a little bit, because that was a lot. Good boy. Sometimes once the food comes out, the puppies could care less about the toys again. Ace loves to play, which is great. You can give them little play breaks in between. What is that? You love to tug. Yeah, you love to tug. Good boy. Very good boy. Where are you taking it? Oh, you're so tough. You're so tough. Good boy, Ace. <laughs> good job, buddy. Very good boy. You're so cute. Okay, can I have it back? Thank you. All right, so now let's move on to another little behavior here. First step in our mat. Let's get some more snacks. Oh, yeah, you ready for this one? Are you ready? So I'm going to put his mat on the ground. When he gets four paws on, that's what I'm going to click. Perfect. Good boy. Get it. Okay, so we're going to do that a couple of times. This behavior is going to turn into a stay type behavior. So you'll see how that evolves as the weeks go on. But this is our first step. There's your mat. Yes, good boy. You play your cookie on there. We're going to do that one more time. You ready? One more time with your mat. A little itch. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Good boy. Good job, Ace. Very good boy. get Ace dressed in his harness. So we want to introduce and socialize these puppies to 
different types of walking gear right off the bat. Come here, mister. There are lots of different styles of harnesses on the market. Just these particular harnesses that we have here are like the step-in style. I find it easiest to hold the puppy while I'm getting them into this kind of a harness. Once it's on, I'm going to get it. toss some get it cookies. Basically, I want the puppy just not thinking about the fact that there's something on them now. Go get it. I want them to realize that they can move freely even though they've got a little vest on. Good boy. So we can toss get it cookies like this. We can play with them too with their toys. I think that's what they, see he's realizing it's on right now. You see him backing up like that. <laughs> but if I get him playing, he's gonna not care so much that it's on. There we go, good boy Ace. So if you've got a play motivated dog, I think it's great to get them dressed in their gear and then play with them a little bit. Ace is so playful. Yes, you are, look at your belly. Look at your belly. This toy is the same color as you. Maybe a little bit dirtier, but. <laughs> Good job, Bugs. Good job. Every once in a while we get a puppy who put a harness on them and they freeze. They act like they can't move. <laughs> they learn though. Good boy. Wow, look at you. Whoa, get it. He's so tough. <laughs> He's so tough, huh? Good boy. When he's got it, when he's got a good grip on it, I'm coming in and I'm petting him, um, teaching him some bite inhibition that he can bite his toys, but he can't bite me. Did you see that piece on the ground? Look at it. I do that for you. Good boys. He's like, no, I want to keep playing. There you go. All right, so just short stints in the harnesses for week one. Get it. We've got one more exercise to do. A couple of these in my pocket. So I'm gonna take his, his, um, his harness off now. Come here, buddy. Good job. All right, so I'm gonna get a couple more pieces of food. And we're just gonna practice um, some handling, a little bit of restraint. Socialize your puppy to being held still sometimes. All right, good boy. Got the food in one hand. Yes. And I'm gonna give him a little hug. Good job. Ready? I'm gonna spin him around and do it on the other side. Yes. Very good boy, Ace. Good job. You gonna come bite the clicker? I'm saying yes instead of using the clicker now because I'm so close to the puppy, I don't want the clicker to be loud and scary. Look at it. So you can use a verbal marker or you can use the clicker as a marker. Overall, I personally prefer a clicker. Good job. Yes. So now I'm just gonna handle his ears. So every time I say yes, by picking up his ear, yes. Then I feed him one of those cookies that's in my hand. Got a few. Oh, those are crunchy cookies. Yes, handling a foot, a paw. That was a front one, let's do a back one. Yes. Good job, Ace. Look at your little tail wagon. Mm, got more. And tail, yes. Perfect. Okay, get it. All right, so that's everything for week one. Um, we, the second half there, we did our first step in the mat. All right, we got his harness on. Then we practiced a little bit of handling. So make sure that you go in and you watch the uh, example videos in the video library. A little bit more detailed instructional videos on how to keep practicing those things at home. 
and we will see you next week.